guess what day it is? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Miss Fidel Q. It has been a very long time since I've posted a video. I have been working on schoolwork and I did a fitness competition and that kind of took up a lot of my time. So I'm back at it, back at the videos. I'm so excited for today's video because I just got my first order of milk and eggs in the mail. When I first was approached by Milk and Eggs to make an order, I thought, oh no, like I just started this plant-based diet. Do I need to buy eggs and milk from this company? And no, it's like any other grocery store. You can buy whatever you see on their website. When I went onto their website, I was like, wow. The pictures they have of the food are, is really nice. And it made me want to like purchase foods that I never have bought before. Or, you know, whenever I go to a grocery store, I don't like take time to look at everything there i just go to the produce section instead of getting produce i got a bunch of snacks that i'm really excited to try out i was really afraid that this was going to melt like when it was delivered but it is the vixen kitchen midnight mint paleo vegan gelato one pint mint is one of my favorite flavors of ice cream and because i'm going plant-based i wanted to get some sort of ice cream that i might be able to eat that doesn't have milk in it so i'm gonna taste it, it smells like mint Oh, that's some good stuff. Wow. Mmm. What do you think, Midas? There's Midas over there. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm, I could just keep on eating this. Mmm. It's smooth. It tastes like chocolate and mint. It tastes like regular ice cream. What is in this? Water, organic raw cashews, organic maple syrup, uh, organic raw cacao, organic peppermint extract, organic fair trade vanilla extract, Celtic sea salt. We get it, right? It's all organic. Being on this healthy lifestyle, you know, you really have to reward yourself. <laughs> if you've been doing good all week or even just all day, you can have a little treat that I might just, I might just keep eating this. So I'm going to put this away for now. But this is a winner. Definitely order that. So the next thing I got, Thin Mints, Yvonne's Vegan Kitchen. These look really good. Too hard to pass up. There's only three in here though so not very many to share let's try it out whoa whoa okay okay one more bite one more bite wow that's a party in my mouth super chocolatey super minty but it's really good i'm gonna have to hide these from my roommates because i've gone plant-based i just wanted to see how this would taste i've seen it in the store but you know just for whatever reason on this website i thought I'm gonna go for it. And I got the Beyond Meat, the Beyond Burgers, plant-based burger patties. 20 grams of protein, which is awesome. Made with water, pea protein isolate, oil, coconut oil, salt, oil, dried yeast, gum arabic. Hmm. Well, I mean, I hope it's good. If anybody knows how these taste, let me know, but I'm really, really, really excited to try these. When I saw these, I was a little skeptic. I was like, should I? Should I not? Should I? They looked really exciting to try. Super Snack White Dragon Fruit Chips. One of my favorite junk foods is chips. I can devour a bag of sour cream and onion, ruffles or lays, Doritos, the spicy nacho ones, and I could just eat the entire bag. But I don't buy them anymore because I don't want to do that. So I only maybe will eat one like at a party if I go to like a party, I don't party. So, here's to substitutions. I still have the mint in my mouth. Maybe I should have eaten that last. They look a little strange, right? But whatever. Mmm. It's like they taste like they want to be sweet. But then they've got this like savory aftertaste to them. When I'm editing, I have a problem. I'm always snacking on something, whether it's like nuts or celery. I've had to resort to gum because I will just keep on eating and eating and watching and eating and then editing and it's not a good thing to do. So, dude, I may have to substitute some of my snacks. Mm. Digestion, anti-aging, antioxidant. So this is the next thing that I got. The Farmhouse Culture California Style Spicy Wakame Ginger Kimchi Organic 
hardworking, probiotic, active cultures. I love kimchi. I love going to eat Korean barbecue, which I probably won't be able to do on a plant-based diet. However, I could still barbecue vegetables. Anywho, I love kimchi. It's delicious. It's cabbage. It's spicy. And it's really good for you because it's a probiotic. It's good for your digestive system. So I'm going to just go ahead and give this a little taste even though I don't normally eat in my room. Woo! Mm. Okay, that's sour. That was really sour. It's not the same as, of course, when you get it, like, homemade. However, it's still really good. And, but it's sour, so if you don't like sour things, don't get that. I love vegetables. Being on a plant-based diet, I've learned that like eating vegetables is kind of like our, our thing. And the great thing about milk and eggs is that they have beautiful photos of all the vegetables cut up and how they could look. And they had this watermelon radish in a really nice photo, nice and diced. And on the inside, this radish is actually like a magenta watermelon color. And so that's why I got it. See, normally if I went to the store, I wouldn't just pick this up because it's deceiving. It's watermelon color on the inside, but not on the outside. So I went ahead and got it from Milk and Eggs because I really liked the picture and I wanted to see what it would look like when they delivered it. So I'm really excited to put these into my salad. Three more, three more. When I went onto the website, I kept on clicking vegan options and this kept coming up. The Forager Project Greens Organic Pressed Vegetable Chips. Free of gluten and corn. Like I said, I'm a chip connoisseur and I'm a firm believer in having a balanced diet. But if you want to eat some chips, girl, eat some chips. Just don't go crazy. I go crazy because like once I have one, then I'll just keep having more. But at least these ones won't make me feel as bad. That's just a straight up good tortilla chip. Made out of vegetables. Mm-hmm. First ingredient, rehydrated pressed vegetables. That's how you know. It's good. This is a winner. I might just have to leave all these snacks in my room. Next one is the Forager Project Organic Cashew Gurt Unsweetened Plain Cashew Gurt. I've never tried this before. I'm a little worried because I don't like eating yogurt because I always feel like it makes me really lethargic and like heavy. Milk products and dairy products for me, I've just tried to cut out of my routine. And it's been a couple months now since I started the competition, I really went in and stopped eating milk products, except for some exceptions like brownies, the occasional brownie. I've been looking for a yogurt that is not made with milk, but something that I'd be able to substitute for a protein snack. So. It's a little milky, watery. Hmm. Mm, not a big fan of this one. Nope, I'm good. All right, and last but not least, something I was very excited to order was the Pure Dog Food Peanut Butter Treats, natural and organic, from puredogfoods.com. So the great thing about mil milk and eggs is that you don't just have to buy food for yourself, you can buy food for your entire family, including your children, AKA if you have a dog, as here so, then you can buy treats for your dog. And ooh, I chose peanut butter because I know Midas loves peanut butter and I think he's gonna like this one, so let's see. Why am I with this? You want this? I normally don't let him eat on my bed, so this is a lucky day. Sit. Up. Good boy, get it. You don't want it? Here, take it. Okay, Midas doesn't like... I thought it was going to be chewy. It's not. Here. Okay. Well, I don't know if he's going to eat it, but I guess one thing that I wish that Milk and Eggs did, which I did not notice on the website when I just recently went on to it, was that they didn't have all of the information about the food. So some of the foods might, may have had like photos of the nutritional facts, but not all of them did. And so I kind of wish that they had that. 
and more customer reviews, but of course that comes with time. But I also wish that this said on there that these would be chewy and not hard because I know that Midas doesn't like hard snacks. He's just a weirdo and very picky. So I'm going to give these to Hanks, his little brother. All right, let me introduce you. Hanks, good boy. Sit. There you go, good boy. Oh, yep. Okay, well, Hanks will eat these treats. Okay, bye, Hanks. Love you. <laughs> All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully, I will be making more of these videos soon. Comment down below to let me know what other kinds of videos you'd like to see me make. And that was all, that was really fun. Go ahead and order from Milk and Eggs. I believe you get first order you make is $20 off. You get free shipping if you spend over $50 in the Los Angeles area. I think next time I'm going to buy some produce. Hey, changed my hair. Okay, so <laughs> I thought I was done, but I'm not done. All I really wanted to say was that if you guys make a purchase, let me know what you order from Milk and Eggs. I'm really excited for them to kill it in this grocery industry online shopping. It was really fun and exciting to order from this website and I look forward to ordering from it more. So I hope you guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching my video and I will see you guys very soon.